Okay, in this tutorial, we're just going to do one more thing, and that will allow you to move over to the playlist that's for regular Python programming for Blender Render, which is basically the BPY style libraries versus the game engine. I have a game engine Python tutorial series running that's BGE based Python. There are different libraries in order to work within Blender. So it, before I'd set variable, you know, you could say C is equal to 2, and then you could print 2 like this. But now what we're going to do is we're going to actually set a method. And basically uh, something we're going to encapsulate a routine within a block and then we can execute it over and over again. And we're just going to use a very simple approach. So this is, if I toggle this here into in and out of edit mode, I'm basically executing this command right here. bpy.ops.object edit mode toggle. Alright. So that runs each and every time. So I'm just going to copy that and then come it down into here if I just paste it and then run the command pressing enter you can see it toggles it like this alright easy enough so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a method and I'm going to basically define this method and, and this is kind of interesting because it's kind of like you can think of it almost like a little macro in and of itself and I can just use I don't know maybe I'll use TG is going to be the name of it but I, the way I do it is I type def and they're going to type TG, and they're going to put open and close parentheses and a colon. Now, in future lessons, and you'll see this in, in my playlist for regular Python programming, you, you also put arguments in here, but I address that in there. But in this case, there's no arguments. We just set it like this, and I'll press Enter, and there's those three dots again. So I know something needs to go on in here, so I'll press Tab, and then I'll press Control V, and there's my routine that I want to work with and then I'll just hit enter and hit enter again and there it goes and nothing happened right but what I have done is I've defined this method called TG and based on doing that the only thing that that method does is it executes this particular command and the beauty of that is that just like when I have a value up here for the value of C where was that yeah I say C is equal to 2. C is known into the system, so I could say 5 plus C, and it tells me the value of 7 because it knows C is equal to 2. But in this case, it also knows about this method called TG now. And so if I want to switch edit mode, I can use this method just by typing T. Yikes. <laughs> oh no, hang on. In the wrong location. Put that mouse back down there. So I can just type TG with this open and close parentheses but no colon so this is how I actually call the method down in here so when I call it you'll see that it switches it to edit mode and then I can just up arrow like this call it again and just keep up arrow whoops <laughs> there it is there so every time I do it I'm just basically swapping it over and over again so very easy so you could add other things to that method and but that's when you don't want to do it within the Python console because this is kind of like the interactive mode. Then you want to switch over to programming mode and actually save your files. And then it really becomes more involved. Then you take your methods and you put them into classes and then it becomes much more elaborate and much more powerful. And in fact, a lot of my intermediate and advanced tutorials coming up, which will be on my sci-fi animator website, part of the most of the advanced tutorials still only require intermediate level blender skills and since I've posted nearly 500 tutorials on blender so far most of those are really designed to allow as many people as possible to gain these intermediate skills but yet my advanced tutorials um, well the intermediate tutorials say for instance that I'll be posting don't really require a whole lot more math than what you would know it from my math for animators playlists but the advanced tutorials definitely require more math knowledge and then we can really do the really powerful stuff. Otherwise your animations really get limited but we really want to do the fancy, at least I do, I want to do the fancy scientific stuff. I want to be a technical animator type individual and that's the kind of stuff I'm trying to teach as many pe people as possible. So not only we deal with the trigonometry like in the math for animators playlist but we'll get into 
single variable calculus and multivariable calculus and complex analysis and a host of many other things that allow us to do really, really cool, advanced stuff with Blender. I really dig Blender in a big way. I love the interactive environment. I love the way that I can model and basically balance between science and art at the same time. It's, a, it's just a very cool system. They thought it out really well and I plan to take well advantage of that especially now that computers have become you know quite fast and a lot of fun so I hope you'll follow along as I continue with the series and there's still more tutorials to go but then uh, my sci-fi animator site should be up finally um, by the end of this month yeah and I'll have all kinds of stuff on there so okay well that's it for now and I'll see you in the next video